hydrated while I do this because I will get ne I will neglect my health because I'm focused on y'all because I care about y'all. Thank you so much for the gift. I appreciate it. Let's start off with oh, let me get some water to start. Let me get some water. My zodiac sign's a secret. I can't tell you. You'll never know. <laughs> Thank you guys for saying hi to the water. Um, okay, so let's start off with Pisces. So Pisces, Pisces, okay? Are you out here hurting people, Pisces? Because if you are, there is a zodiac sign that's put on this earth to break your heart. Can you guess what that zodiac sign is, Pisces? Because the zodiac sign that's put on this earth to break your heart, Pisces, is Taurus. Taurus is put on this earth to break you, Pisces. Taurus hates you. They want nothing to do with you. They want nothing to do with you. When I'm on the phone with Taurus Pisces, they say horrible things about you. They dog you out. Okay, you thought that Taurus liked you and y'all in the same room? Listen to one of my phone calls, Pisces. Pick up a phone with me, like two-way call, and just stay silent and let Taurus talk about you as I'm doing my personal reading. Just allow Taurus to talk about you. I'll be like, oh, would you date Pisces? I would never date Pisces. I would never date. Taurus goes off. And it's on purpose. So Taurus is put on this earth to break you, Pisces, because Taurus is a slow killer zodiac sign. A lot of times, Pisces, you fall in love very fast, and that is what gets you in the end because you give out real love to people who don't deserve it. Why are you giving out real love in an unfair world, Pisces? That don't make no sense. Like, people don't give out real love, and you do on the first try, Pisces, the first try. You you showing your pure love to what for what? For what? So Taurus is here to break you specifically, Pisces, because Taurus is a vampire zodiac sign. They will allow people to love them for as long as you want to love them. And then they will discard you like garbage, like garbage, like garbage, once Taurus wants to. And you're such an easy target to Taurus, Pisces. They're such an easy target. And I don't think you understand how bad and catastrophic Taurus is to your heart. This is a zodiac sign that you love with all your being and they hate you. They hate you. So if you decide to give Taurus some of your love, Pisces, you're basically giving it to someone who never loved you in the first place. And that is what I call like bottom of the barrel love because it means that you are, you know, your view on love is very toxic. You are never supposed to be attracted to Taurus, Pisces, although it does happen because Taurus has a weird attraction to water zodiac signs. Taurus loves them some water zodiac signs. So sometimes, Pisces, you slip through the cracks and you're able to get Taurus to love you back, but that's a rare occasion. And then at the same time, you're at a disadvantage, Pisces, because Taurus always holds the power in this relationship. I want you to be very careful. Taurus, why Pisces likes you so much is simply because you're the infectious laugh zodiac sign, Taurus. Pisces loves how wise you are. Pisces has a lot of questions, Taurus. And you have a lot of, you know, a lot of things to say. And so Pisces appreciates how you come up come up with the topics that you do Taurus you have gut instincts Pisces loves that y'all are both on the psychic spectrum so Pisces feels like they have a kinder spirit with you it's really you know but Taurus you do have power over Pisces do not break Pisces's heart because there's zodiac sign put on this earth to break your heart and you're not safe Taurus you're not safe um just one second you guys just one second TikTok just one second uh Instagram just one second Facebook YouTube you said there was background noise you said there was background noise, YouTube? Hmm. I'm sorry. I don't know why there would be background noise. I apologize. I'll see if I can fix it, YouTube, but um, maybe I won't upload this video, YouTube, but I'll upload one of the videos I have saved on Instagram or TikTok or something. I'll upload that one with no noise, but I don't know if there's anything I can do now, YouTube, so I apologize. I'll make sure that I fix it the next live stream. Like AC or heavy rain. TikTok, do you guys hear background noise? Instagram, do you guys hear background noise? Facebook, do you guys hear background noise? Because it could be the phone. It could be the phone. Drink water, okay. Because it could be the phone. Okay, I'll just get another phone. I'll get another phone. I'm so sorry, YouTube. I'll use another phone with you. Okay, so do you guys have any questions about Pisces? I could take two questions about Pisces, and then let's move on to the next zodiac sign. Let's move on to the next zodiac sign after I get to Pisces. Yeah, you need attention. <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. Um... Why can't Pisces express their feelings? Because Pisces has so much, so many feelings. 
Um, a lot of times when Pisces can't express their feelings, they're either mentally stimulated or mentally suppressed. So a lot of times Pisces can't figure out what emotion they want to talk about first because they feel things, you know, at all times. Pisces is one of those zodiac signs where they don't really like pain at all. Pisces doesn't really like pain at all. So the moment their feelings get hurt, they react before they speak. So a lot of times Pisces will express their feelings through actions. And then when you guys are able to talk about it, when Pisces is able to talk about it and they're able to breathe because Pisces like to hyperventilate a lot, they can finally express what was going through in their head. But first, Pisces has a lot of physical reactions. Pisces likes to run away. Pisces likes to block people. Pisces likes to go to sleep to cope with what they're feeling. Like Pisces does everything. It's to the point where Pisces is an addictive zodiac sign, but that's a whole different topic. Pisces is an addictive zodiac sign. They'll get addicted to substances and drinks and stuff. If that is how Pisces can cope, they'll be addicted to it. You know, you have Pisces that's addicted to going to the gym. So they go to the gym all the time because they just need to go to the gym. They got to get rid of whatever's in their system. That is how Pisces expresses stuff if they can't do it naturally. Um, Let me see. Why are Pisces so delusional and desperate? <laughs> okay. Um, Pisces would be delusional and desperate. <laughs> delusional and desperate that's crazy okay um <laughs> pisces uh would be delusional and desperate if let's say pisces is obs pisces can be very obsessed with some people <laughs> pisces could be very obsessed with some people so if pisces is obsessed with you you need to understand that pisces is not even in love with you pisces is in love with the version of you in their head you know, it's worse for you to get a Pisces and you're not the version that they expected you to be. It's like comparing the book version to the movie. And if you are the movie version and Pisces wanted the book version, I'm not sure. You said Jocelyn Hernandez. She's a Pisces? Interesting. Um, but no, so you definitely have to make sure that you're the book version of Pisces because if you're not, because if you're not, yes, yeah, so definitely go on Instagram, YouTube. I'm live on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook. I'm live on all three of those. So if you guys can't hear me, YouTube, go to those platforms and I'll try and fix this phone so it's better for you to hear because I don't know why you guys are not able to hear me. I'm sorry. I mean, you got, they're like, it's static for you. But I apologize, YouTube. I'm on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook. Okay, let's go to the next Zodiac sign. So next, AI has chosen in the shuffle, because I let AI shuffle. AI has chosen that I will be talking about Sagittarius. AI wants me to talk about Sagittarius. AI said, they don't want to talk about y'all right now. AI said, let's talk about Sagittarius. So good job, Sagittarius. You want AI, artificial intelligence, good side today? Because they, they, want, they want to talk about you. Um, if they don't want to talk about you, you know artificial intelligence. All they are is intelligence. They don't want to talk about y'all. That's a problem. <laughs> Something wrong with y'all. Um, let me see. Okay, so Sagittarius, can you guess who's put on this earth to break you? Because you're not safe. You're not safe, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, the zodiac sign that's actually... Oh, get, get some water. Just one second. Sagittarius, the zodiac sign that's put on this earth to break you specifically, thank you guys for reminding me to drink water, is Libra. Libra is put on this earth to break you. It's not Scorpio, Sagittarius. I understand why you said Scorpio, because y'all not supposed to be together, but it's Libra. Oh, you guessed Libra. You know, Sagittarius, you already know. <laughs> Sagittarius, you was not supposed to get it right. You was not supposed to get it right. Sagittarius, Libra is put on this earth to break you. Libra is put on this earth to break you. They hate you, Sagittarius. They hate everything about you. They hate everything about you. When I'm on the phone with Libra, Sagittarius, they say things along the lines of, you're rude, okay? You, they say that you talk too much. It's not as much that you're rude. It's that you talk too much. Libra thinks that you talk too much. Libra thinks that you ruin the vibes, Sagittarius. That's your mom. Mm. It's so interesting when you guys have parents that are put on this earth to break you because that's a whole different type of pain. 
But no, Libra is put on this earth to break you, Sagittarius. So if you are interested in Libra, you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be. You shouldn't be, Sagittarius. Like, if I'm on a phone with Libra, if I'm on a phone with Libra, and I ask Libra if they would date you, Sagittarius, they ad they ad they're adamant on not wanting to be with you. Adamant. Yes, it's going to be recorded. I'm going to post it on YouTube after. Adamant. Okay. So if you are interested in Libra Sagittarius, it's a bad news for you. And you know you were trauma zodiac sign Sagittarius. So that's even more trauma for you. Libra, why Sagittarius likes you is because you feel like home to Sagittarius. You feel like home to Sagittarius. Um, there is a state of mind with Sagittarius where you stabilize their state of mind. Libra, you're very naturally likable. Um, you're very inviting, Libra, and Sagittarius loves that about you. Unfortunately, it's not reciprocated, Sagittarius. So Libra invites you into their family and friends, knowing that's what you really long for, Sagittarius, because their circle is very small. And then Libra will push you out of their family and friends if they don't want you anymore, Sagittarius. Libra would discard you like garbage. And it's going to hurt, Sagittarius, because you lost the circle you had, your love interest, and like everybody that Libra invited in your life, they all turn their back on you and it's like a slap in the face, Sagittarius. I want you to be very careful with Libra. I want you to be very careful with Libra, Sagittarius. Libra was talking about taking you for what you... Libra was on the phone with me talking about they was going to take you for everything you have, Sagittarius. Sagitt no, Sagittarius, you're not supposed to love Libra. That's the point. <laughs> Sagittarius, no. There's 11 other zodiac signs. 11 other zodiac signs. No, it's, it wasn't Pisces. But no, Sagittarius, Libra is put on this earth to break you. So if you get with a Libra, it means that you are willingly choosing death, basically. You want to get your heart broken. That's your, You want to do that. That's what you want. Okay, is that what you want, Sagittarius? Do it. Do it. Okay, do it. That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. I could do two questions about Sagittarius and then let's move on to the next sign. Sagittarius, don't you get with a Libra? Don't you get with a Libra? Okay, haven't you had enough pain, Sagittarius? Like, yeah, Sagittarius, we're better friends. Oh, so Libra already broke you? Not y'all already getting your heart broken. You believe it, don't worry. Libra too unbalanced for us. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay. <laughs> um drink some water okay um we'll let the killers get libra that's not nice that's not nice um what would make sagittarius survive a libra in a relationship your first heartbreak was a libra sagittarius so sagittarius you cannot survive libra in a relationship it's not meant it's not meant to be sagittarius just think about it you guys have zodiac signs that are soulmates to you. You have zodiac signs that are only supposed to be your friend. And then you have zodiac signs who hate you. You only have one. So if you found that one zodiac sign that's put on this earth to break your heart, you found that one, it wasn't an accident. It wasn't an accident. Like Sagittarius, just think about how nobody was able to break your heart before. Like you was running the street, Sagittarius. Nobody got close to you. Then Libra came along and now they broke you and now you're mad. Like the reason Libra is there is to build you back up, Sagittarius, because your view on love is trash. It's trash. I love you more. Your view on love's trash. That's what it is. That's what it is. It's too bad, Sagittarius. Don't do it. Don't do it. Yeah, I'm coming. For, yeah, I'm gonna get you, Virgo. Don't worry. I'm coming for you. Um, let me see. Dang, not you guys all talk about your heartbreakers. Okay. Um, how do I get Sagittarius to love me right? Um, you have to be there with Sagittarius. Thank you so much for the gift. You have to be there with Sagittarius through thick and thin. Sagittarius goes off of experience points. Like, think about all the adventures Sagittarius likes to go on in a day. You have to be able to go on those adventures with Sagittarius. You cannot be a lag and stuff like that. You just have to make you just have to have fun with Sagittarius where they attribute how they're feeling when they think about you to fun. And then that's how they'll love you because when they're around you, everything is good. You know? Okay, I will. Um, 
Okay, it's time to do the next zodiac sign, but first I gotta do my commercial break. Y'all know what it is. Hi, my name is Mari and I do personal astrology readings. If you like a personal astrology reading from me, we got up on the phone together. I can do your birth chart for you or I could do a video just like this for you. The link's in my bio for a reading, for a reading. I said for a reading twice, I'm sorry. Um, let me get some water and then I'm gonna let AI decide who we're gonna talk about next. AI, who are we decide who are we talking about? AI has decided that Leo is going to be talked about next. Congratulations, Leo. AI likes you. AI has decided they want to hear about you. They want to hear about you. Um. Okay. So thank you. I appreciate it. You guys are so nice. Um. Okay. So we're going to talk about Leo. So Leo, can you guess who's put on this earth to break your heart? Can you guess who's put on this earth to break your heart, Leo? Can you? Because it's Virgo. <laughs> Hopefully you say Virgo because it's Virgo. Virgo hates you, Leo. They hate everything about you. They hate everything about you, Leo. If you thought that your love... You guys said Virgo quick. Okay, so Leo, you already know. So you guys already know who's put on this earth to break you. I don't have to do this video. I don't have to do this live stream. You guys already know who's put on this earth to break you. Why y'all always act confused when y'all reach out for me? When y'all reach out to me for a reading, y'all be so confused. Y'all know who put on this earth to break you. Y'all know who hates you. Y'all know who hates you. Leo, Virgo hates you. They hate you. When I'm on phone with Virgo, they think that you fake, Leo. They think that you fake. Virgo's like, I'm like, oh, Virgo, would you date Leo? I just feel like Leo, they think they're just so perfect. They think they're perfect. But I think that when Leo is fake and Leo's nothing but flaws and bravado and ego, but Leo's ego's not real, Virgo be going off. And I'll be like, okay. <laughs> All right. Appreciate it. Oh, you agree Vir Virgos are headaches? Don't do it, Leo. Don't do it. So, Leo, why Virgos put on this earth to break you is you are too hard on yourself, Leo. You always try to be the best in everything that you do, Leo. And you you know, you fake it till you make it. But sometimes faking it till you make it is not is not the best. So Virgo is actually a perfectionist zodiac sign, Leo. You just think that you're perfect. Those are two different things. You don't actually expect too much, Leo, and you do more for others than, are, than is done for you, Leo. Like, you always are going the extra mile for people that you love. Virgo does not. So when you and Virgo get together, you think that you're perfect like Virgo is, Leo. But Virgo is up at 3 a.m., you know, still trying to straighten out their bed because it's not wrinkle-free. Leo, the way you plounced in that bed and went to sleep and you was lazy, you just went to sleep. Virgo didn't go to sleep until that bed was wrinkle-free, hot-pressed laminated <laughs> laminated and so when virgo sees you leo virgo sees flaws virgo sees flaws leo and you don't see flaws in yourself which is a good thing but it's not a good thing for virgo so when you get in a relationship with virgo leo virgo's just they just dogging you out all the time leo like they're trying to make it to where you can't do anything right anything right <laughs> i'm sorry so, so I need you guys to be very careful, Leo, because if you are attracted to Virgo, that's a bad thing. No, it goes for male and female Leos. You, none of y'all are safe. None of y'all are safe. I need you to be very careful, Leo, because Virgo hates you. They hate you. They hate you. Okay. Um, Virgo, why Leo likes you is, you know, because you're the perfect zodiac sign. You're the closest to perfect that we're going to get, Virgo. Nobody's as perfect as you are. And you know that's a lie, Virgo, because you only perfect on paper. But we're not going to talk about, we're not going to talk about that. But you are the closest to perfect, Leo. I mean, po closest to perfect, Virgo. So Leo loves that about you. They think that you guys would be a perfect couple because they're perfect, you're perfect. But one of you, one of you guys are not true. One of you guys are just acting it. And yeah. But Virgo, please do not break Leo's heart on purpose. The universe is very specific on how they want you guys to handle the zodiac signs that you guys have power over, okay? Pisces, the fact that Taurus has power over you means that if Taurus breaks your heart, karma is extra swift on Taurus because of how much damage Taurus did to you. Leo, Virgo's the same way. Virgo, if you break Leo's heart on purpose, you're going to get broken too. And a, a broken heart is nothing to play with. It's nothing to play with. And a lot of times, like when Virgo breaks Leo's heart, Leo goes into depression. So does Pisces. The zodiac sign that gets broken goes into depression. Okay, Sagittarius, Libra breaks you. The way Sagittarius is in therapy for months after Libra and Libra is just living their best life. 
it's so crucial that you guys understand this because you can date any zodiac sign just don't date the sign that's put on this earth to break you because you're getting in a relationship with somebody who doesn't love you at all they don't even love you you know you literally love them more and everybody can see it everybody can see it i can see it you know it's it's desperate and it's weird it's weird you could date 11 other zodiac signs on this earth and you want that one and you want that one pathetic 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 <laughs> um i could do two questions about leo and then um let's go to the next zodiac sign leos and virgos are easily manipulated yeah but you know leo doesn't see virgo as like anything but perfect like leo allows virgo to be toxic you guys always allow the zodiac sign that's put on this earth to break you to be toxic um how would you feel about a leo child i'm trying to bond okay so how you bond with leo as a child is you just want to make sure that leo knows who they are you know i want you to give leo a lot of confidence talks give leo a lot of confidence toys because if you get a leo that grows up confident but not cocky then you have a good Leo that's set because Leos get better as they age. Right now, Leo's in the age where they want things, they feel like they belong, like things belong to them. And you want to let them know that certain things belong to them, but not everything. You have to teach Leo about boundaries because Leo a little aggressive. Leo a little aggressive. Okay, Leo feels like they're above you and they're the child. Like you just want to, you just want to let Leo know politely that you care about them and that, you know, tell, let, the, let them know their place. Let them know their place. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Do it in a nice way. Um, but Leo will grow to have a lot of love for you. And, you know, Leo will fight people for you. Like, Leos are very good when they're loyal to you. When they're loyal to you. Um, okay. Oh, you have a Leo son. Okay, good. So you have a little king. You have a little king. Because they're royalty zodiac signs. Um, let me see. Thank you. I appreciate it. I feel like people overcomplicate astrology and I want to, you know, I want to break it down on a basic level for everybody to understand. Like, it's so crazy when I'm doing astrology readings and when I get on the phone with you guys and you guys were like, oh, I've never done this before. This is my first time getting a reading and you chose me as your first time. Like, it's just, I feel so good. I'm glad that I'm able to make it understandable for you. Um, let me see, Dr get some water. Okay. Um, what breaks Leo's heart other than Virgo? Um, well, what would break Leo's heart other than Virgo? Because nobody's going to break Leo's heart the way Virgo is. No other zodiac sign can break Leo the way Virgo can. Virgo has a very special touch when they break Leo. Very special touch. And Leo is blind to Virgo. Virgo can be very toxic and Leo won't know. That's how it is with you guys. Like with your heartbreaker zodiac, with your heartbreaker zodiac sign, they could be very toxic to you, and you wouldn't know. Like so, when I'm on the phone with Leo and I'm talking to Leo about what Virgo did to them, Leo has no recollection of how bad it was until I caught it. I'm like, did you and Virgo ever fight, Leo? They'd be like, oh no, we just had disagreements. We just had disagreements and then they talk about what the disagreements was and Virgo was cussing them out and telling them that they was like worthless. And I'm like, Leo, that was a disagreement. <laughs> Leo, that's bad. Like, that's really bad. And they're like, oh, is it? And then they'll see it and they will just be like laughing. But I'm like, no, Leo, that was bad. So like they definitely like have to wake up. So yeah, Virgo's the worst for Leo. Y'all never see it. Y'all never see it. Okay, I can go to the next sign. AI has chosen that we are talking about Taurus. We're talking about Taurus. So Taurus, you know that you put on this earth to break Pisces. You Okay, so let me talk about that for a second. So Taurus, the fact that you're put on this earth to break Pisces, since we mentioned Pisces already, just know that Pisces would do whatever you want, Taurus. I'm not saying be toxic. I'm not saying be toxic, but I'm saying... But I'm saying, um, Pisces will do whatever you want, Taurus. This means that if you want a zodiac sign that loves you more than you love them, 
it would be Pisces. Like I'm talking, you'll get the job at work if Pisces is the boss, you'll get the job. If Pisces is the boss, you'll get a raise if you want a raise. You can even sue for sexual harassment after you leave the job and win, and win. I'm not saying do all that, but... <laughs> but if you break Pisces' heart, it's a problem. It's a problem. It's a problem. Um, But... The Zodiac sign that's put on this earth to break you, Taurus. Do you know who it is? Do you know who it is? <coughs> Do you know who it is? It is Aries. Aries is put on this earth to break you, Taurus. Okay? Taurus, Aries hates you. And I know how attracted you are to Aries. I know how much you want Aries in your life. How Aries and you, you guys are both stubborn. Both like to debate. Both have the same energy. Aries don't think you have energy, Taurus. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Aries don't think you have energy. The main zodiac sign calling you lazy, Taurus. The main zodiac sign calling you lazy is Aries. Oh, I would never get with Taurus. They never leave the couch. When it's time to get work done, Taurus is making excuses. Aries thinks that you're the laziest zodiac sign we have, Taurus. Aries, like, they said getting with you is literally dead weight. They said, that's the exact words. They said dead weight. Dead weight, Taurus. You are dead weight. When I'm on the phone with Aries, and I always ask Aries about you, they always want to skip the question. Like, they think that, that that talking about you, Taurus, is running into the talk time they have with me, and they want to go to something more valuable of their time. Like, Aries, is they're ruthless, ruthless. Um, and so it's bad for you. It's bad for you. You're not safe. You're not safe. Aries hates you. You're not safe. Um, I want you to understand, Taurus, that the way Pi the way Pisces feels about you, Taurus, and you know you don't like Pisces, you know Pisces is all over you and clingy and stuff, that same feeling you feel about Pisces, Taurus, Aries feels about you. Aries feels about you. They feel you clingy. They feel like you talk too much. They feel like you try too hard and they feel like you don't walk how you talk either. So if you break Pisces, Taurus, Aries will be right here to break you. Aries will be right here to break you immediately, immediately. And Aries does it in such a natural way. You will be very upset at how it happens. It's like a domino effect. Aries, why Taurus likes you is just the fact that you have all of this energy, Aries. You are the total opposite of how Taurus is portrayed. You know, Taurus is seen as the lazy zodiac sign that loves food and they're very stubborn and stuff. Aries, you're stubborn, but you're known to have energy. You're known to debate. You're known to be out there in the world always doing stuff. Taurus likes your perception as well because they feel like you guys are, can be stubborn together but get things done. Like, Taurus is very smart and you're very, you know, street smart. Like, like you guys you guys will make, some, make such a great pairing, you know? That's how Taurus loves you, Aries. Taurus asks about you all the time. All the time, Aries. When I'm on the phone with Taurus and I ask, you know, just who Taurus likes, who their soulmates are, Taurus asks about you without me even having to say anything, Aries. Oh, can I get with Aries? Can I get with Aries? Do you know, Aries, I have to tell Taurus to block you. I have to tell Taurus to block you. I'm like, no, you can't get with Aries. I have to tell Taurus that you don't like them and to block you. That's how bad it is. <laughs> That's how bad it is. I'm not getting off the phone with Taurus until they block you. I need to know that they block you. They need to send me a screenshot. I need screenshots. So it, it's really bad. It's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. Um, I want you to be very careful, Taurus, okay? You know you can do whatever you want with Pisces, except let them down gently. But you can't do what you want with Aries. Aries is not the one. They're not one of them. Okay, Taurus, you can manipulate all these other zodiac signs, Taurus, to do what you want, do your bidding. Not Aries, though. Not Aries. Stay away from Aries. No Aries. They hate you. Um. Okay, I could do two questions about Taurus and then... <laughs> I could do two questions about Taurus and then let's move on to the next Zodiac sign. You're dating an Aries Taurus? Good luck. Good luck. Taurus. You're dating an Aries right now? <laughs> right now? Okay. <laughs> Somebody say run. <sighs> um, let me see. I can't reveal that, YouTube. It's a secret. We have to get there. Um, let me see. 
It's because we have bigger and larger horns. Okay, Aries. Wait, was that, were you saying that about Taurus? Who has bigger horns, Aries or Taurus? Because those you throwing shots. Those are shots. <laughs> those are shots. Um, what? Oh, what's the best way to handle a Taurus mom? Well, the best way to handle a Taurus mom is to listen to all of their ramblings. Taurus parents, they love to ramble. They feel like they know everything. So as long as you're willing to go through the adventures with the Taurus parent, then you'll be good. But Taurus loves to ramble. They love to lecture. They think that they know everything. Any little thing you want to turn into a game, you about to get a lecture. You about to get a lecture. They turn into Mr. and Mrs. Professor. Mr. and Mrs. Professor. So how you handle them is just you want to listen to them talk. You want to soak in information. And you want to make sure that you are there in crucial moments. Like you're going to need your space from Taurus parents. But you want to make sure that you're there in crucial moments. Um, let them talk. <laughs> get them some food, bring them some food. If you want a tourist parent to love you and you know they have a favorite craving for a certain food because they always have cravings, they're not pregnant, but they all have cravings for something, get them what they have cravings for without them having to tell you. And you'll be perfect. You'll be perfect. You know that new shop opened up down the street and they wanted to try that so-and-so food, do it. Get it for them. That'll bring you guys closer because it means that you think about them. That's considered a sentimental gift to Taurus. The food that they want to try, their cravings, that's considered sentimental gifts to them. You know, that's like buying them jewelry. <laughs> it's like buying them a new watch. Get them what you know they're thinking about. Um, Chocolates, yep. Yeah, chocolates. <laughs> Taurus is a hungry, hungry hippo. I agree. But Taurus has good taste in food, though. Like, if Taurus said that they're not going to eat at that restaurant, I'm not going to eat at that restaurant because Taurus said it. I don't even got to know nothing about the restaurant. Taurus don't want to eat there. Okay. All Taurus got to say is that food is nasty. Okay, Taurus, you will never see me at that establishment. That is, like, the best review you can get is from Taurus. Let the senior citizen Tauruses pick where to eat, and y'all go eat good. Y'all go eat. They got years to perfect their taste buds. <laughs> Y'all go eat good. Thank you so much for the gift. I really appreciate it. Oops. Sorry, the carpet messed up a little bit. Just one second, Facebook. Fixing you now. Okay, cool, cool. We're back. Um, Is Taurus high maintenance or low maintenance? Hold on, let me fix it. Is Taurus high maintenance or low maintenance? Um... Oh, yes. No, I'm live streaming on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and also TikTok. I have four phones that are live right now. So that's why it doesn't look like I'm looking at you directly because I always have to switch my direction because I want you guys all to get, you know, equal treatment. So sometimes, you know, it can get a little too much. Uh, okay, so Taurus is definitely low maintenance with a sprinkle of high maintenance. Like Taurus wants to say they're not high maintenance, but they are. Taurus is high maintenance when it's time. A lot of times Taurus likes to hibernate. They like to hibernate. You know, you won't see Taurus for a while. Oh, y'all saying they are? They're high maintenance? <laughs> they're all high maintenance? Um, no, I feel like Taurus is low maintenance until it's time. There's a certain time of, you know, the year. There's a certain time of the season where Taurus wants to be out. And so you have to be out with Taurus at every function. Taurus is the life of the party. They always trying to laugh. Taurus laugh at everything. And then there's time of the seasons where Taurus just want to stay in the house and watch their favorite show. And all you got to do is bring snacks. That's all you got to brew. That's all you got to do. Like, that's all you got to do is bring snacks. That's all you got to do. But on them, on them seasons where tourists want to be out, they want to be seen, high maintenance, high maintenance, <laughs> high maintenance. Okay, I'm going to let AI choose what I want to, oh, okay, drink my water, okay, sorry. Um, Let me see, okay, so AI has chosen that we are going to be talking about Virgo. You got Virgo fingers crossed. AI has decided we're going to be talking about Virgo. So let's talk about Virgo. So Virgo, you already know that Leo is obsessed with you. You know, if you want a zodiac sign to love you more than you love them, Virgo, it's Leo. Leo will worship the ground you walk on. 
And yeah, they will. They will. Like you can get Leo to do whatever you want. Leo won't listen to nobody else until you say something, Virgo. It's so weird because we'll tell Leo how bad you are, Virgo. We'll tell Leo how bad you are and Leo will fight us over you. Okay, because we don't know. Not y'all mad at the AI. <laughs> Not y'all mad at the AI. The AI is just shuffling the topics for me. Dang. Um, I want you to be very careful, Virgo. Because if you break Leo's heart, guess who's put on this earth to break your heart? Guess who put on this earth to break your heart? Gemini. Gemini hates you, Virgo. They hate you. They hate you. They hate you. Gemini feels like you're always trying to control them, Virgo. Gemini feels like you are always trying to butt you in spaces where they don't want you there. Gemini feels like you're too narrow-minded for them, Virgo. And Gemini feels like you're just really in the way. Gemini feels like you're just really in the way. Gemini always tells me over the phone when I'm doing personal astrology readings, Virgo, that your perfectionist nature is because you're flawed and you don't know what you're doing. They say that you like are in a constant state of midlife crisis. And Gemini doesn't want to... <laughs> and Gemini wants no parts. They want no parts. Gemini said that perfection is its own flaw, Virgo. So you were just a giant flaw, like a walking contradiction. Gemini, they be going off, Virgo. They be going off. Um, not sure saying it's true. Um, so it's Virgo. Yes, it's Virgo hate because Gemini hates you. I'm trying to paint the picture. I'm trying to paint the picture. If you think that it's Virgo hate, it is. It is. Soak it in. It, it is. Specifically from Gemini's. Okay? You think that everybody likes you, Virgo? They don't. Gemini don't like you at all. And so I want you to be very careful with who you pick uh, because Gemini is not the one for you. And it sucks, Virgo, because you stay in toxic relationships longer than any other zodiac sign does imagine trying to fix because you know you be trying to fix people virgo imagine trying to fix gemini imagine trying to fix gemini Ge there's nothing wrong with them there's nothing broken about gemini so you're trying to fix your favorite zodiac sign in that relationship and gemini is looking at you in such amusement because you're trying so hard and gemini is just staring at you <laughs> Gemini, like, you trying to fix me? And Gemini just allow you to try to fix them. It's so bad. It's so bad. Because Gemini is living the time of their life. And you, like, got that maid outfit on. That butler outfit on. Like, you with Cinderella without the happy ending. Like, Virgo, that's your life with Gemini. Gemini, you Cinderella without the happy ending. Like, you stayed in that house. You still had dust on your clothes. The fairy godmother came and Liz saw what you was doing. And was like, I'm not trying to help you. And she left. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm just like I need you to be careful Virgo I need you to be careful I need you to be careful okay Gemini why <laughs> Gemini why Virgo likes you is simply because you live life outside the box you live life outside the box, Gemini. Virgo is attracted to how your success comes naturally while theirs come with work and horned in practice. You know, look at the Virgo celebrities that we have, especially musicians. And then look at the Gemini musician celebrities that we have. A lot of Gemini's music is more, you know, timeless in a way, but Virgo's music hits. It hits and it hits for generations because Virgo put their foot in their music. Gemini, they put whatever personality they're writing about in the time in the music. And Virgo is a, there's such attract there's there's so much attraction to what Gemini does from Virgo's perception. And it's so weird because Gemini looks at Virgo like you're trying too hard. And there's, you know, it could be a little beef, a little beef. Not really though. But no, I want you to be very careful though, okay? Very careful. Um, I can do no, cause Gemini's mu Gemini's music be sounding like it be sounding so different all the time. Like Gemini always keeps the music. I love Gemini music. I love Gemini music. Um, but then Virgo's music it always charts. Virgo's music always charts because they make sure that it's gonna chart. They work too hard for it not to. 
Um, okay, so if you don't like Gemini's, good job, Virgo. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Get some water. Okay. Not y'all want to talk about a, what? Not, not y'all wanting to talk about music. <laughs> I'm sorry if I got distracted, but we could talk about zodiac sign music. You know, I I like to discuss that with you guys. Um, okay, I could do two questions about Virgo, and then let's move on to the next zodiac sign. I could do two questions. Add some lemon to the water. Good idea. Good idea. Good idea. Um, I can't do um. Say Beyonce, Beyonce. Beyonce's a Virgo, right? I thought Beyonce was a Taurus for a while because like she was so headstrong with her music, but I'm like, oh, Virgo, duh. Beyonce's a Virgo. Um, okay, so I can do two questions about Virgo. I can't do Virgo soulmates because that's a whole different thing. You guys will trap me in the soulmate category and then we won't get anything done because you guys are just gonna corner me. Um, what makes Virgo leave a relationship quickly? Um, when Virgo feels like, when Virgo feels like the person's beneath them. I know this sounds harsh, but when Virgo feels like you're beneath them, Virgo normally leaves very quick because they feel like you're not even worth saving. You're not even worth saving. Like, if you think that you're better than Virgo, if you think that Virgo can't help you with anything, when Virgo's just trying to help, and you just think that they can't do anything right, and you know Virgo is good at everything, and they can't do anything right for, they can't do anything for you, you know, that's just, it's such a turnoff for Virgo, because their job is to be the superhero, even though I tell Virgo, they need to take their superhero cape off right now, take it off, take it off. They don't take off that superhero cape. So they want to be the superhero in people's lives. And if you're not allowing them to save you and that's their natural instinct, it's just, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Don't be saying, what you mean, no? What do you mean, no? <laughs> not y'all saying no, Virgo. Okay. Next time you in that toxic relationship and you want some help, I'm going to be like, no, no, no. Okay. You have the superhero. You You handle it. You handle it. Um, let me see. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. PSA, whatever PSA means, because I don't know. Um, Facebook, if you paid money for me to answer a specific question, that's not what this is. You, got, you guys don't have to send me any money at all. You guys don't have to send me any money at all. Okay, thank you guys for sending gifts, but that's not going to get me to deviate from the topic at hand. I'm not going to switch what I'm talking about to answer a specific question, because if that's the case, I would just be like, pay me to answer questions, and I'll really be making some money, but that's not what I'm... I don't want you guys' money. I don't want your money. The scam accounts that are pretending to be me, they want your money, and they'll be like, I'll answer your question, just send me $30, and then they're going to block you because they're not me, but the scam accounts want your money. I don't want your money. You don't have to send me anything. I don't ask for anything. Okay. Um, personal side announcement. Okay, perfect. Just letting you know. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So we were talking about Virgo. Okay, I can do one more question about Virgo. One more question. One more question. No, because like... <laughs> I didn't become a content creator to listen to people. I became a content creator to create and you guys are just supposed to be a part of the creation. You guys are not supposed to dictate how I create because the moment this starts to feel like work, I'm not going to do it anymore and I'm going to find a whole other profession. I'm going to find a whole other profession where I could be happy. You know, this makes me happy. So if it's not making me happy no more and it feel like work and y'all feel like my bosses, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to be here. I'm, I'm not getting paid for this. I know my rights. Um, okay, let me see. Um, how do you escape, Gemini? I'm in a relationship right now. Okay, so Virgo, you don't necessarily have to, like, escape, Gemini. You just have to be aware. You just have to be... Thank you, I appreciate it. You just have to be aware. You have to be aware. Gemini's put on this earth to break you, Virgo. So if you already got in a relationship with Gemini, just know that your fate is sealed in a way. Your fate is sealed in a way. That means that Gemini is supposed to break you. 
So once you get your heart broken, bye. Good night. I hope that you have a very good night. Um, and I wish you the best. So just know that when Gemini does break you, Virgo, it is one of those things that is going to crush you. It's going to crush you. Because it's not just the breakup. It's not just the breakup. When Gemini breaks up with you, they don't care about you. Gemini doesn't care about you. So you're going to be crying and Gemini is going to be in a whole other relationship because whatever soul tie that was created between you guys is only one-sided and Gemini will not feel any repercussions or any effects of what's happening. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Let's see what AI wants to talk about. Who are we talking about next, AI? Who is it? Okay, AI wants to talk about Gemini. Interesting, because we just talked about Gemini. Interesting. Okay, AI, thank you. So AI wants to talk about Gemini. So Gemini, you know that you put on this Earth to break Virgo. So if you want to zone... Oh, commercial break. Thank you. Thank you. Commercial break. Hold on. Commercial break. Hi, my name is Mari and I do personal astrology readings. If you would like one, the link is in my bio for links in my bio for a reading. We got up on the phone together. I could do your birth chart for you or I could do a video just like this for you. Links in my bio. This video will be posted on YouTube. So make sure that you check the YouTube out after this video, just in case you missed your sign. I'm finally going to start putting times. I'm not going to put no timestamps. I'm not doing all that, but I'm finally going to put what order the video is so you guys can find your zodiac sign a lot faster in the YouTube videos because the YouTube videos be like an hour and 30 minutes long. So you guys can finally skip to your part that you like. Even though you're supposed to be watching for everybody, you guys just want to watch for yourselves. <laughs> but that's okay with me. Okay, so let's do Gemini. Gemini, you you know that um, Virgo likes you. You can, you can make Virgo do whatever you want. The sign that's put on this earth to break you, Gemini, is Pisces. The, the sign that's put on this earth to break your heart, Gemini, that hates you, that hates you, is Pisces. Is Pisces. So when it comes to you, Gemini, Pisces feels like you are creative in the way that they're creative and they respect you on that aspect. But that's where it ends, Gemini. I know how much you like Pisces because of how creative they are and it like resonates with you. Pisces switches between emotions as if they have different personalities. <laughs> as if they had different personalities like you do, Gemini, but it's not the same. But it's not the same. Pisces tells me that you are unreliable. Pisces says that you're unreliable. They can't trust you. They feel like you guys are trying to be creative together and you're flacking because you don't know what creative direction you're trying to go in, Gemini. Pisces says that you're lost. You're lost in your creative thought. And that's not even, that's unattractive to Pisces. Pisces says that they saw the vision with you, Gemini. They did. And you didn't move forward because you're too talented with all your talents. You can't pick one to stick with. So Pisces is trying to help you being the natural therapist that they are. And you are not allowing them to help you because you already have a different problem that you want to bring to the plate. So Pisces feels like you are overwhelming them. They feel like you're not reliable and they feel like you're just a waste of their time, like a waste of their time, Gemini. Pisces be on the phone cussing you out. They be dogging you out, Gemini. I be on the phone with Pisces. They be dogging you out. I would never get a Gemini. I would never, never. And so Gemini, I want you to be very careful because I know how much you like Pisces. Pisces hates you. So if you ever try to get in a relationship, do not make it with a Pisces. Do not make it with a Pisces. It, not for you. Not for you, okay? Not for you. I want you to be very careful. Very careful. Pisces, why Gemini likes you is simply because you're creative, Pisces. Gemini feels like you root for the underdog, which you do. You like to root for the underdog, Pisces. Gemini likes it about you. They feel like you give them a chance when no other zodiac sign does because y'all all hate Gemini for some reason. But they feel like you actually give them a chance, Pisces. They feel like you actually, you know, have a heart, you know. They love your brain. They love how creative you are. You know, very creative in the way that they are, but a water sign creative instead of an air sign creative. So it's a different feeling. And they're attracted to the emotions that you put in your work. Unfortunately, Gemini, Pisces feels the opposite about you. So when you're in love with anybody, Gemini, do not make it a Pisces because you will not get the same love in return. Pisces will not reciprocate it. Pisces is very quick to leave. You know, 
the moment you don't make up your mind, Gemini, because you're in your head, Pisces already made up theirs. And now you're hurt because there was a decision made without you even fighting for it because you didn't know it was made. Like, it's, it's a mess. It's a mess. Okay? It's a mess. Okay, Gemini, no Pisces. Forever. Forever. Ever. Okay? You ever, you ever want a mental breakdown, Gemini? Get a Pisces. Get a Pisces. Pisces, you know... You know that Taurus is put on this earth to break you. You know Taurus hates you, Pisces. The love that you have for Taurus, Gemini has that love for you. Gemini has that love for you. So if you want somebody to love you more, Pisces, get a Gemini. If you want somebody to stomp on your heart and not even care, not even care, get a Taurus. The, uh, the choice is yours. And then you have some zodiac signs in between that, but yeah. Hold on just one second. I can do two questions about Gemini and let's go to the next zodiac sign. It's good that you're not attracted to the zodiac sign that's put on this earth to break your heart because it means that you know what love is. Because a lot of zodiac signs don't know what love is. A lot of y'all don't. Thank you. I appreciate it. I can appreciate it. Gemini, did you get your heart broken? You better not have. Um... You're a Gemini. You're a Gemini mom with three Virgo daughters. Interesting. You had three Virgos, Gemini. Three, Gemini. You don't even like Virgos. <laughs> Gemini, you don't even like Virgos. You had three of them. Okay. Well, you you want to be very careful, Gemini, because as a parent of Virgos, it means that you're put on this earth to break them. All three of them. All three of them, Gemini, none of them safe. They all Virgos. So what you have to do, Gemini, is you have to be very careful on how you talk to them because you are their favorite and you're their mom. You're their parent. So you are their favorite naturally. So they're going to look up to you when it comes to love because they love how you love them. And like your disappointment in them can like really cripple their self-esteem. So be very careful, Gemini, because they want to assimilate and be just like you. They can't because you're a Gemini, but be very careful, Gemini. I'm sending you strength. I know that's tough. I know that's tough. But Virgos, they love you, Gemini. They love you. They love you. Okay, Gemini, I don't have to mention you at all when I'm doing my personal readings. They just bring you up. Oh, can I date a Gemini? There's a Gemini in my life. They bring you up. No, the Gemini, she, Gemini got three Virgo kids. Oh my gosh. Now let Virgo have three Gemini kids. That Virgo would be going through it. Let a Virgo have three Gemini kids. I had one girl talk about how she had three Gemini kids. I think like, I don't know. I think she needed so much help. I wouldn't advise it. Me either. Okay. Um, what can make Gemini's creative talents grow? So Gemini, first of all, Gemini, first of all, first of all, you have way too much talent to not be where you want to be, Gemini. You're supposed to be rich by now, Gemini. You're supposed to have the career you want by now, Gemini. You know you have the talent. What are you doing? What are you doing? Why do you have, why are you the gifted, most talented zodiac sign, but you don't know what you want to do at the same time, at the same time? That don't make no sense. No sense. You're supposed to be rich, Gemini. You're supposed to be on TV. I'm supposed to see you on TV. Didn't you want to be a singer? Didn't you want to be a writer? You could do both. You could do both. <laughs> Come on. That's my problem. That's my problem. It's not that you're not creative, Gemini. People, you know people hate you for a reason. Sometimes it's jealousy. 50% of the time, Gemini, it's jealousy. Okay, if we was on a survival show, Gemini, and you was there, you know you the first be you the first being sent home. I'm not I'm not going up against you in no competitions. You being sent home first, first. Okay, I'ma spread a rumor around. Oh, you know Gemini, Gemini. Yeah, you go home first. You're not getting none of that money. If it was down to us two and it was a challenge, I'm gonna lose. I'm not going down like that. <laughs> I'm not going out like that. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, so it's time to do the next zodiac sign. Let's see what AI has chosen for me. Let me see. AI said that it's time to talk about Capricorn. So we will. Let's talk about Capricorn. 
Um, let's talk about who's put on this earth to break Capricorn. Capricorn, do you know who's put on this earth to break you? Do you know? Do you know who's put on this earth to break you? Um, let me see. Gemini, you so talented. Do it. Do all of it. Um, okay. Some of you guys got it right. Um, thank you. Thank you. You see how they rushing me? You see how they rushing me? They want me to talk. They were just, you know, they just like, hurry up. Talk about this zodiac sign. Talk about this zodiac sign. Watch me get to your zodiac sign and people telling me to go over you and I do. Let me listen to them. They're like, okay, let's skip Capricorn. Let's not talk about Capricorn. Let's go to the different zodiac sign. Imagine if I did that. I was like, oh, yeah, I talked about Capricorn enough. Let's talk about somebody. <laughs> oh, y'all don't want me to talk about Capricorn? Okay, let's just, let's dismiss them for today. Let's talk about them tomorrow. That'll be crazy. That'll be crazy. Okay, so Capricorn, um, Leo is put on this earth to break you. Leo is put on this earth to break you. I need you to be very careful. And it's Leo season. So you really in danger, Capricorn. It's Leo season. Capricorn, Leo hates you. They feel like you are too awkward, Capricorn. They feel like you're not loyal the way that Leo is. The way, the loyalty that Leo needs. They feel like you're not loyal, Capricorn. In a sense, you know, you do be ghosting people, Capricorn. So I can't really fight against that speculation. You you be ghosting people, but I think that you're loyal. But Leo says that you're not. Leo says that you're not loyal. They feel like you put money above everything, Capricorn. They think that you are a greed monster. Greed monster. Gluttony. They feel like when it comes to how you handle your relationships, Capricorn, Leo feels like you're weak. Leo, oh, you have a Leo mom. Leo feels like you're weak, Capricorn, and they feel like you can do a lot better in relationships, a lot more maintenance in a relationship. They feel like you never try. Leo says that you don't try. Leo says that you don't try. They still they feel like you run away from love, Capricorn. Leo feels like you run away. You're not strong enough to handle heartbreak, so you leave. And so, therefore, you're not loyal. You're not loyal. They said that you're there for certain reasons, and it's not good enough for Leo to even consider you a partner. They are weak and petty. Okay. You're a Capricorn dating a Leo. Okay. Well, this is your sign to <coughs> social distance, social distance, Capricorn. You're not supposed to date Leo. You're not supposed to. It means that your view on love is bad, Capricorn. Um, it's really, it's really tragic what happens to Capricorn in Leo's hands because Leo is a powerhouse, especially when Leo knows that you love them more. Leo is a powerhouse and Leo will suck up all of the love that you have for them because they start to be in that leader position, that king or queen position, and they want to be treated as such. And Capricorn actually treats Leo as their king or queen. Like, I remember that... Like, we would be around Capricorn and Leo, and Capricorn wouldn't really go with certain things unless Leo wanted Capricorn to go with certain things. And then Leo became, like, the yes man, the yes woman. It's really weird, because Capricorn's very independent. They don't really need people. Capricorn would ghost people. Capricorn do, does not ghost Leo. Capricorn does not ghost Leo. Leo wants Capricorn to show up right now. Capricorn getting in the car. Capricorn will leave work. They will leave work. And you know how much Capricorn loves money. They will leave work for Leo. When Capricorn and Leo get in a relationship and Leo knows that Capricorn loves them more, Leo normally cleans house. Oh, good night. Have a good night. Leo cleans house. Like, Leo literally takes everything from you, Capricorn. And I think that you go out really sad. Like, this is one of those relationship dominance pairings that I hate to see. When Capricorn calls me about Leo, I feel so bad for Capricorn because that's another one of those things where Capricorn doesn't know. I'm like, Capricorn, are you okay? Like, what did Leo do to you? And Capricorn be like, oh, it wasn't that bad. Um, we're just going through financial problems right now. I'm like, Capricorn, who is the breadwinner? I was, oh, so what kind of financial problems is Leo going through, Capricorn? Oh, they just wanted more than I can give them, but I'm really trying. I got a second job and it's like, Capricorn. You be getting a second job just for you. Just because you want more money. You doing it for Leo? Like, it's really sad. It's really sad. I love when I find, like, a Leo that loves Capricorn. I've, I have certain Leos that love Capricorn. 
And I like how Leo tries to treat Capricorn because Capricorn will reject Leo's love too, but in a different way. Leo would be like, I know that I'm put on this earth to break Capricorn, but I love Capricorn. But Capricorn rejected me. And I'm like, why did they reject you, Leo? And they would Capricorn will come up with like the dumbest reasons not to be with Leo because Capricorn's afraid of Leo. They're afraid that Leo's gonna break their heart. And Capricorn is has their Capricorn's fight flight or fight triggers and Capricorn wants to ghost them, but they can't. So Capricorn comes up with like the dumbest reason not to be with Leo anymore because they can't be with them. They just can't. It's so it's so weird. Um Leo, why Capricorn loves you is simply because of you always being there, Leo. Capricorn wants a relationship with someone who isn't going to be crazy, who isn't going to turn out to be crazy. Unfortunately, unfortunately, Leo, you're crazy, but Capricorn doesn't know that. They don't see that. Um, Capricorn wants somebody that's always going to be there through thick and thin because Capricorn doesn't normally have the best relationship luck. Capricorn has the worst relationship, love life. And the fact that you stay, even after the relationship is over, Leo, Capricorn finds that admirable. They love that about you. They love how you're so confident in yourself, Leo. They feel like they like that type of confidence. They're not going to do it because Capricorn don't like public embarrassment. You're not going to publicly embarrass Capricorn. They will leave you. But they like how you don't care if it's public embarrassment, Leo. You're going to stand in your, your shoes, you know, you're going to stand in your shoes and Capricorn likes that. Embarrassing as it is. <laughs> Embarrassing as it is. Um, Let me see. I can do... They need you as an emotional support human. <laughs> okay. Not going to dive too much into that. Um, I could do two questions about Capricorn. Oh, have a good night. Oh, yeah, it's, it's really late for you guys. It's really late. It's like 7 a.m. for me right now. It's 7 a.m. I'm supposed to be asleep, but I'm not because I got to finish this live stream. But it's 7 a.m. for me. So it means I'm going to wake up at like 3 p.m. I'm going to wake up at like 3 p.m. My sleep schedule is going to be so broken. Um, but I can do two questions about Capricorn. Um, unrelated to relationships. Oh, I'm in Paris. I'm in Paris. I'll be back in California um, August 10th. And then I'll be doing the videos in my car again, where I feel safe. Um, I don't live alone in California, so I don't feel comfortable doing videos in my room. So I'll, I'll be back in my car. But I'm alone by myself in Paris, and I feel happy. So we're doing it in my room. Um, why are Capricorns cold-hearted? It's simply because Capricorn is the opposite of Cancer. Capricorn is the opposite of Cancer. So Cancer has tons of emotions all the time. Capricorn does not. They try to have emotions, but Capricorn can only love you so much in portions. Capricorn needs portion control when they love you. And a lot of times when Capricorn is stressed and they have no more love for you, um, yeah, you get the cold-hearted Capricorn because... When Capricorn does not have anything to offer you outside of stress, you're going to get whatever they can offer you at the time. And it's going to be a very cold-hearted Capricorn. Capricorns are naturally cold-hearted. They mask it in laughter. A lot of times when Capricorn jokes about something, it was not a joke. It was not a joke. Capricorn was laughing like it was funny. It was not funny. I saw, I know what Capricorn was talking about. I wasn't laughing. <laughs> I wasn't laughing. I was like... Um, so a lot of times Capricorn has a certain type of energy when they are, you know, operating with you and you need to make sure that you get Capricorn at their best. Don't get Capricorn when they're, you know, cold hearted. Make sure the Capricorn's happy first. Yeah, the dry sarcasm for sure. The dry sarcasm from Capricorn, definitely. Um, how do you feel about Capricorn children? I'm about to have one. Well, Capricorn is the most successful zodiac sign that we have. So what you want to make sure is that Capricorn is doing what they love. Okay, I'll get some water. I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'll get some water. You just got to make sure that Capricorn is doing what they love because Capricorn can be the breadwinner or like break the family generational curse of like not having the financial means to do things. Capricorn's going to do it. So when you have your Capricorn, just make sure that you push them to do things that they are passionate about and that make money because Capricorn is going to make money with whatever they do. 
you just got to watch out for their hearts. Because once Capricorn gets their heart broken, it can either be by you. If you're the parent who broke Capricorn's heart, you're messing it up for the next person they they're dating's parents. Because now Capricorn got beef with parents because of you. <laughs> don't be Capricorn's reason that they don't like parents. But yeah, if you do that for Capricorn, I love it. Um, they're going to be very good. Now, Capricorn's a very awkward child. They're very awkward. Very awkward. So Capricorn's not broken. They're just awkward, okay? So if they're acting weird and like staring at the wall, you know, Capricorn got bad eyesight. You know, their back's going to be hurting sometimes. They just, there's just stuff wrong. <laughs> Capricorn always need glasses. Like, take them to the doctor. I don't know. I don't know. But you definitely, there's going to be something wrong with them. Minorly, though. Minor. Um... <laughs> No, there's always something wrong with Capricorn. It's like, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, make sure Capricorn is social. Uh, let me see. What would make Cancer a bad... I mean, sorry. What would make Capricorn a bad partner? I'm scared. Don't be scared of Capricorn. Yeah, you could be scared of Capricorn. I'm sorry. You can be, It's logical to be scared of Capricorn. You have to figure out what Capricorn's triggers are and you have to figure out what Capricorn's last relationship was like. If Capricorn had a bad relationship life, you're not safe. You're not safe because Capricorn will soak, soak that in as if that was love and that's what they're giving to you. And that's what they're giving to you. Okay? If Capricorn was a nice upstanding citizen, nothing wrong. Nothing, nothing wrong. Like you'd be good. But yeah, just look at Capricorn's track record. Okay, Capricorn got a type. Um, that's all you really got to do. Okay, because if their if their last relationship was toxic and you thought you can change Capricorn, you was giggling like, oh, Capricorn, it doesn't have to be like that. Capricorn already sees it like that. They already see it like that. Like you trying to be something different than what they're expecting. They expect you to be crazy. Okay, the moment you even show the little craziness, I expected it. Okay, you apologize and Capricorn are like, what you apologizing for? I knew that. I knew you was inside you. I knew it was inside of you. Um, okay, cool. So we did Capricorn. It's time to go to the next Zodiac sign. Let's see what AI has decided for me. Okay, we're going to do Cancer. Oh, let me do my commercial break first and get some water. I got to do both. Let's do Cancer. So, wait, we did Capricorn. Oh, okay, okay, perfect. Sorry, I got sidetracked. I was like, wait, did I not talk about something? Okay, so it's time to do Cancer commercial break though. Hi, my name is Mari and I do personal astrology readings. If you would like a personal reading from me, we could hop on the phone together. I could do your birth chart for you or I could do a video just like this for you. The link's in my bio for a reading. Thanks. Okay, so let's talk about Cancer. Cancer, do you know who you're put on this earth to break? Do you know who's put on this earth to break you? Cancer, do you know who's put on this earth to break you? What What's wrong? Why are you so mad with, about Cancer? What did Cancer do? Oh, Cancer, you guys don't know who's put on this earth to break? <laughs> cancer, you don't know? Cancer. Why are y'all saying? Okay, okay, Cancer, whatever. Cancer, the zodiac sign that's put on this earth to break you since you're so unaware, since you're so unaware, Cancer, since you're so unaware, you just, you're such a victim, Cancer. Um, Sagittarius, Sagittarius is put on this earth to break you, Cancer. They're put on this earth to break you since you don't know. <laughs> cancer, you didn't even try. You didn't even try. You didn't even try. You was, I don't know. Like, you just gonna be dated for what? Can't you just go date them all, Cancer? Oh my gosh. Um, it was sad. To no, because Cancer was, they didn't even try. Every Everybody else was trying to guess at least. Cancer was just, they was waiting for it. They waited for the heartbreak. They go see which heartbreak hurt the most and then they'll decide. Um, Cancer, when it comes to you, Sagittarius hates you, okay? They hate you. They hate you. You said all of them. So when it comes to Sagittarius Cancer, when I'm on the phone with Sagittarius, you want to know what they say about you? They say that you are the most emotional zodiac sign. Everybody says that, by the way. But they say it in like a disgusting way. Like it's disgusting. You know, a lot of zodiac signs would be like, oh, Cancer, they're so emotional. They're so emotional. You listen to Sagittarius say it. 
Oh, cancer is emotional. Like they say, it like it's like it's like such a disgusting thing. Like it's a disease. Like a disease. Like a disease. The way Sagittarius says it, they're like they're grossed out. Like ill, don't touch me. Like Sagittarius does not like that at all. They feel like not only are you clingy, Cancer, but you take everything seriously. Sagittarius feels like they're just trying to speak their mind and you're already on the verge of tears or you're trying to be because you're manipulative. You know, it'd be crocodile tears, but real tears at the same time. Cancer, you you good like that? Um, Sagittarius just feels like you just a really big problem, Cancer. They feel like you're a lot more problematic than the world sees, but Sagittarius is not fooled. Sagittarius said that they've been out in these zodiac sign streets and they know a wolf in sheep's clothing when they see one cancer and they think that you are a wolf in sheep's clothing. Sagittarius feels like you're good for materialistic purposes only and they will not be settling down with you cancer because they cannot take a moment of you turning everything into this emotional plea for attention. That's what Sagittarius says to me. Like, I'm, every time I'm on the phone with Sagittarius, I ask if they would date you. Sagittarius is so disgusted. They're so disgusted. <laughs> oh, Sagittarius is projecting. Okay, Cancer. Cancer says Sagittarius projecting. But no, Sagittarius, they just, they don't like you, okay? So, Cancer, I need you to be very careful. If you are in a relationship with Sagittarius, it's very deadly for you because Sagittarius is a materialistic zodiac sign. So they definitely use you for material possessions, Cancer. You're good at making people feel comfortable, Cancer. That's you, your comfort zodiac sign, and you're a nurturer. And I know how you like to help, you know, people that you feel need your help, and Sagittarius needs a lot of help, but they're not looking at you as a safe haven. They're looking at you as, you know... <laughs> cancer i want you to be very careful because sagittarius will use you and discard you cancer i've i've seen it i've seen sagittarius where they would go somewhere and they know that cancer is obsessed with them so they'll go stay at cancer's house sagittarius needs a place to stay they'll go stay at cancer's house because they know that cancer will let them stay there rent free i might add um, I've seen it to where Sagittarius slept in Cancer's bed and Cancer slept on the floor of the bed or slept on the couch because Cancer loves Sagittarius so much. Like, it's really sad. It's really sad. And you love way too hard, Cancer. You know, you one of those Zodiac signs that love way too hard. You be doing the most for Sagittarius. And I think it's really sad. <laughs> Somebody said this hit at home. It shouldn't. It should. You better not be doing that. It shouldn't hit home, but it's so sad because I'll be on the phone with Cancer and I'll be trying to talk to Cancer about their love life and they'll be like, why doesn't Sagittarius love me? They'll be like, why doesn't Sagittarius love me? I'm really trying with Sagittarius. I feel like, you know, they don't like me. And I'm like, Cancer, they don't. They don't like you, Cancer. Like, I have to be the bearer of bad news, but you know that's on brand for me, so I'm going to do it. I'm like, no, Cancer, Sagittarius hates you. I need you to run. Like, I be trying to tell Cancer to run, and Cancer, you move so slow, Cancer. Okay, if Sagittarius was the scary movie villain and you was running, if you were running, Cancer, you in the movie running, okay? You not for real running. You in the movie scenes where you run, like, 10 steps, and then you, like, out of breath, Cancer, and Sagittarius going to get you... That's the type of runner you be doing. That you the movie scene runner, Cancer. You run around that corner and think it's over. The the cameras, <laughs> the camera pan into your face. You think it's over. Is that a tears come from around that corner? Because that's where they were the whole time. You knew they was coming around the corner, and you scream for what? You scream for what? One of those movie scenes where we just like okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah Sagittarius why Cancer likes you is because you're tough Cancer likes the persona that you get Sagittarius that you're not emotional but that's debatable that you are you know you're very truthful Sagittarius you're very blunt you don't care what people think Sagittarius even though you do low-key like you be micromanaging Sagittarius you hyper fixed on people's reactions to you you very hypo fixed you knew how that person looked at you Sagittarius and you got a whole backstory by that like glance it's so weird how Sagittarius can like they know oh yeah that person they opened the door for you but did you see the way they opened the door for me and how their shoulder went to the left a little bit it's like Sagittarius okay 
all right but um yeah no cancer loves that about you sagittarius so if you want if you want cancer to do whatever you want get a cancer sagittarius you are the only zodiac sign that can get cancer to do whatever you want Cancer is the most dangerous zodiac sign. Cancer would take out the whole zodiac sign community, Sagittarius. They won't even go near your house. They won't even go near your house, Sagittarius. They got the knife. They taking out all the zodiac signs, Sagittarius. The way they would look at you with love and be like, who you want me to take out for you? Cancer would take out a certain zodiac sign. <laughs> you want to put a hit out, Sagittarius? Cancer would take out a certain zodiac sign for you. When they're doing the little the little killing spree, Sagittarius, who you want me to take out first? Who you got beef with? They won't touch you. Um, okay, I could do two questions about I could do two questions about cancer. Um and I could do two questions about cancer unrelated to the topic, just so I can answer some general cancer questions that are not soulmate related, because it's a whole different thing. Um when can I get cancer to say I love you? Okay, so cancer says I love you when they feel it's time. Cancer doesn't normally rush that word, unless you're Sagittarius, of course. Cancer would say I love you to Sagittarius so quick. Um, but a lot of times cancer just wants you to feel like home to them. If you're somebody that comes to cancer when there's a problem, you're letting cancer be their nurturing self. You're not smothering cancer's inviting nature. Like if cancer is inviting you over and you're making the place unpleasant to be and it's cancer's house, they're not going to say I love you because you don't make cancer feel good. If you are, you know, and cancer invites you over and you actually improve cancer's life, you improve the place, you bring like flowers or something, I don't know, you bring something to make the house remind cancer of you, then there'll be that constant reminder of you where cancer will love you. But cancer definitely takes their time with it. If they say it too soon, it's manipulation. Cancer feels it in their heart. Like, they feel it that they should say it. But if Cancer says, I love you too soon, manipulation. There's something Cancer wants from you. There's something Cancer wants you to do for them. It's not the same. It's not the same. Oh, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, No, it is. Cancer, the most manipulative zodiac sign we have. Don't let that sweet interior fool you. Cancer, the most dangerous zodiac sign we have. I'm going to keep saying it because y'all keep forgetting that cancer, the most dangerous zodiac sign we have. Get some water. Okay. Sorry. How do you deal with an emotionless cancer? So emotionless cancers are psychopaths. Emotionless cancers are psychopaths. Cancer is not made to be emotionless. Cancer is made to be the most emotional zodiac sign. If you have an emotionless cancer, they're psychopaths. Like, can like that cancer can lie with their eyes. Like, you know how hard it is to lie with your eyes. An emotional, emotionless cancer can lie with their eyes, and that's very, you know. Imagine how much destruction you can do if you're the most manipulative zodiac sign, and your emotions are not getting in the way of how you can manipulate others. Imagine the the like the limitless potential. That's raw power. That's raw power. They can lie with their eyes. Oh, I love you. Cry on the spot. And it's they're not really, like, they don't care. And they can still cry on the spot for you. Like, mm-mm. Mm-mm. <laughs> mm -mm. If it's an emotionless cancer, absolutely not. You want a cancer that is emotional. Because although you think it's too much, it's healthy. It's healthy. It's how, get an emotionless cancer. Get an emotionless cancer. You think it's narcissism, but it's worse. It's worse. You think it's narcissism with them? It's worse. It's worse. Okay, go, time to go to the next zodiac sign. But first, I got to do my commercial break. Commercial break. Hi, my name is Mari, and I do personal private astrology readings. If you like a personal astrology reading from me, we'll hop on the phone together. I could do your birth chart for you, or I could do a video just like this for you. The link's in my bio for a reading. Okay, time to do what does the AI want us to do? It always wants us to do Libra. So we're going to do Libra. Let's do Libra. So when it comes to Libra and how Libra chooses to do things in relationships, Libra, you know that you're put on this earth to break Sagittarius. Libra, 
You know that you're put on this earth to break Sagittarius. You know Sagittarius is obsessed with you, Libra. Libra, Sagittarius is obsessed with you. We just talked about Sagittarius. You know they would do anything you want, Libra. You feel like home to them, all that type of stuff. Do you know who's put on this earth to break you, Libra? Because it's going to shock you. Because it's going to shock you, Libra. It's going to shock you. The person that's put on this earth to break you, Libra, is Cancer. The person that's put on this earth to break you, Libra, is Cancer. Do you see the triangle here? Sagittarius is put on this earth to break Cancer. Libra, you're put on this earth to break Sagittarius. And Cancer is put on this earth to break you. Isn't that weird? Isn't it weird? But no, yeah, Cancer hates you. So Sagittarius is obsessed with you while dumping Cancer to the side. Cancer is a zodiac sign you can't get away from. And Cancer don't want you, but they really want Sagittarius. It's like such a weird... <laughs> this always gives me a headache. But yes, Cancer hates you, Libra. They hate you. They feel like you're fake. Okay, when I'm on the phone with Cancer, they feel like you're fake. They feel like you're you're the you're the most prone to cheat, Libra. Cancer always uses that word. I just feel like Libra gonna cheat on me. I just feel like I can't trust Libra. I feel like there's something in my spirit. Cancer always be saying that over the phone. <laughs> Cancer is always oh, there's just something in my spirit about Libras. Cancer feels like you know you would be a liability more than you would be an asset. Cancer feels like a lot of the times, Libra when you're out in the world, like you are trying to get them and they don't want you. And when Cancer finally gives you a chance, you're still flirting with people as if you're not in a full committed relationship. They feel like you're still flirting with people, Libra. They feel like you're still out there making connections that you should be making connections with. Cancer notices that people like you, Libra, and you're still keeping them around, even though you know that they're a threat to the relationship. I don't know. Cancer just, they just be going off. They say a lot of stuff. But that is why Cancers don't like you, Libra. That's how Cancers feel about you. And that's not something you need to be around, Libra, because Cancer is very dangerous to your heart. Cancer is very dangerous to your heart, Libra. And the fact that you are the one that is getting killed by a lot of the Zodiac sign serial killers, because Libra, you're not really a serial killer. You know how we'd be talking, oh, the Zodiac sign serial killers. You know that you're never one of the serial killers, Libra, because you're always getting killed. You're always getting killed. You're always being too nice. You're always being too comforting, Libra. You're the favorite Zodiac sign. You're being... You know, make sure that everybody gets a fair shot. I know that you hate it, Libra, but at least you're not one of the serial killers. Cancer is the most dangerous zodiac sign we have, like I just said. So Libra, you would literally be attracted to the most dangerous killer of all killers. <laughs> you, you, you're most attracted to the most dangerous killer, Libra, and you're the victim of the zodiac sign community because killers be trying to kill you all the time. Isn't it so weird, Libra? Like, you are in danger more than ever if you get cancer. You're in danger more than... <laughs> Your life is in triple danger. Triple. Okay? You live in life... You live in love life on difficulty. So I don't want you to be in awe about cancer, Libra. I know why you like cancer. Cancer, Libra likes you because they say, they say that you feel like home... They say that you feel like, you know, all of their worries will go away. They love when people nurture them. Their favorite lo love language is touch cancer. They love how clingy you are, but also distant and mature. Libra loves that about cancer. They love it. They tell me that about cancer all the time when I'm talking to Libra. They just don't understand why cancer doesn't like them. But that's why I'm telling you, Libra, it's like that on purpose. The system is rigged. And you're not supposed to fall for the person that you have tons of love for because that's not good for your safety. The fact that your guard is down 100% with somebody that you thought you loved completely and Cancer had no love for you at all. Imagine how much damage they can do to you, Libra, if you have no guard because you thought you was going, you just going to leave it at home. Like you're with Cancer. I don't need to bring my, I don't need to have my guard up. I don't have to protect my heart. I love Cancer with all my being and Cancer on the other end doesn't like you at all. They hate you. You know, so when cancer breaks the Libra's heart, it's especially sad because Libra like left all of their defenses down. I love you more. A Lib like Libra had no defenses. It's really sad. Like Libra, Libra gets hurt so bad. Like I have a Libra right now. 
right now. Libra, if you watching, I'm talking about you. I'm talking about you, Libra, if you ain't here. Libra is so attracted to Cancer and Libra knows Cancer hates them. Libra knows Cancer hates them. They know Cancer is dangerous and they still are chasing after Cancer right now because Libra loves danger. Because Libra loves danger. And Libra, if you call me after this, I'm going to cuss you out because what you doing? Because what you doing? Some Libras like the danger. But yeah, no Libra. Be very careful. Be very careful. Be very careful. You won't hurt your Libra? Okay, Cancer, I'm proud of you. But just know that when you break up with your Libra, Cancer, even though you won't hurt them, if you break, once you break up with your Libra, that is breaking their heart. That is breaking their heart. You, you would break Libra, Cancer, without trying. Without trying. You know? That's one of the dangers of being in one of these relationships because you risk not only breaking that zodiac sign's heart cancer, but Libra will accuse you of, of not loving them enough. You guys are going to get accused of not loving that zodiac sign enough because they know they love you more. So you have to come up with what you need to say when they approach you about it. They'd be like, I love you more. I'm doing this and that. Everybody around me is telling me that I love you more. And um, you're not good enough for me. You have to have a rebuttal for that because Cancer and Libra is going to let you know they love you more. So why are they with you and stuff like that? Like you have to, you have to be ready. Um, okay. I could do two questions about Libra and then let's go on to the next Zodiac sign. Good morning. Two questions, two questions. Mm, how do I feel about Libra children? Um, I'm about to have a leap. Okay, so you guys are just about to have all these zodiac signs. Thank you for thank you for repopulating the earth. <laughs> um, so Libra children are very social. You know, they want to be friends with everybody. So be prepared to. You know how it takes a village to raise somebody. Libra is gonna get the village themselves. Libra will go out and find the village members one by one. Libra don't got a problem. Okay, Libra, look at that one person one time. And now that person, oh, Libra's so cute. Like, you just, you go have a lot of strangers come around. <laughs> I don't know. You go be bonded with other parents because they like your kid. Like, Libra is the favorite zodiac sign. And you're going to realize why they are, even as, like, even as small as they are. Um, it's going to bring a lot of danger to you, too, though. You know, Libra might get kidnapped. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Put a tracking device in, like, Libra stroller. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. But no, Libra is definitely a handful. Libra does not know personal space. Libra doesn't know personal space. So the Libra child is definitely going to be walking on you. Like, you know how the cats and dogs be walking on you? Libra going to be walking on you just like that. Just like that. You not safe. You not safe. Why are Libras... Oh, not Libras. <laughs> not Libras. Um, what would I need to do to make Libra love me a little more? So what you would have to do to make Libra love you a little bit more is you have to be their best friend and their soulmate in one. Libra is really just searching for their best friend at the end of the day. They don't really want a partner. They want a best friend. They want a best friend with benefits, but the benefit is the relationship. Like you have to make it sound like that to Libra. You have to pitch it to Libra. Libra is not looking for a relationship relationship because they have a relationship with everybody, with everybody. If you can be their best friend with benefit, that's also in a relationship, you got the whole package. You got the whole package because you guys can do stuff together the way they would do with their friends. You guys can be in love the way they would want to be in love with somebody they like and all of that good stuff. You just have to be the whole package of what Libra considers a relationship and that'll make them love you more. <laughs> Why y'all keep saying that Libra cheats? All the Zodiac signs cheat. All the Zodiac signs cheat. Y'all be swearing none of y'all Zodiac signs cheat. But then when I ask you if you would date your own Zodiac sign, it's crickets. It's crickets. You know, it's all my Zodiac sign the best. Would you date your Zodiac sign? And then it's, you guys are mute. Oh, Okay. Okay, why? Why? <laughs> um, 
Okay, let me see. Okay, let's go into the next zodiac sign. Let. Oh, oh, we doing that? Y'all name is zodiac signs. Y'all don't think cheat. Oh, y'all wanna y'all wanna have that discussion? Y'all wanna have that discussion? Okay, we'll have that discussion later. <laughs> I should rank the zodiac sign cheaters. I should do a zodiac sign cheater scale and rank them. I'm gonna do that one. Okay, um, so the zodiac sign the AI wants me to talk about is oh Aries. Okay, so we're gonna do Aries. The AI wants to talk about Aries, so we will. And the video is gonna be posted on YouTube right after this. I'm gonna post it on YouTube. I can't really timestamp it because I'm lazy. But I am going to put the list of what Zodiac sign was said first to what Zodiac sign was said last. So you guys don't have to like scroll through the hours of footage. And you guys can just go. Why are you mad at the AI? Why y'all got beef with the AI? The AI is here to help me. Um. Yeah, so uh, you guys can find it on YouTube right after. But you're here for it. So you don't really have to watch the playback unless uh, unless you missed your Zodiac sign. Okay, so Aries, let's talk about who's put on this earth to break you. Do you know who's put on this earth to break you, Aries? Because there is a specific zodiac sign and they have a very specific reason. You know that Taurus is obsessed with you, Aries, so you could do whatever you want with Taurus. Taurus will Taurus will actually cook for you, Aries. Taurus won't be lazy with you, Aries. Taurus will actually get up. Taurus will get up, you know? A lot of times, Taurus not doing nothing for nobody, Aries, but let it be you. Taurus will do whatever it takes to get your heart, Aries. I know that you don't like Taurus, but if you gave Taurus a chance, for you, Aries, good job. But the zodiac sign that is put on this earth to break you, Aries, and you guys never said it. You guys are not mentioning the zodiac sign. It's Capricorn. Capricorn is put on this earth to break you, Aries. It's such a weird like thing for Capricorn to want to break you, but they hate you, Aries. They hate you. When I'm on the phone with Capricorn, they talk about how you have all of this energy, Aries. Capricorn says that you have all of this energy and you don't use it for anything, Aries. They say you have all this energy to get all this productive stuff done and you want to argue all day, Aries. They said all you want to do is argue. That's what you put all your energy to. They feel like when you are trying to work hard, you get the job done. But once you get the job done, you don't do anything with the reward. They say you don't do anything with the reward, Aries. They say whenever you see them running their business, you think you're just going to be just as successful as they are. And you can be when putting in the work, but you would rather tell them what to do and how to make their business better instead of being on the floor, Aries. Aries, Capricorn was going off. Capricorn was preaching Loki. Capricorn was preaching Loki. I was kind of just listening to all the other fan phone. I was like, Capricorn was preaching Loki, but Capricorn was like, no, I just feel like Aries, they have so much talent. They can like run a business just like, but Aries want to be the boss of the business and not the worker at the bottom climbing their way to the top. Capricorn feels like you don't have no maternal or external work ethic, Aries. They feel that you just want to be the boss of the company, but you don't want to, you don't want to see how it feels to be in the company, Aries. They say you just want to tell people what to do. They say you want to tell people what to do, Aries. And they say that your temper would get you fired from their job. Their temper would get you fired from... And Capricorn hates you, Aries. They was going off. They was going off. And I, they was preaching a little bit. They was preaching a little bit. <laughs> they was preaching a little bit. Um. So when it comes to you, I want you to be very careful because a lot of times, Aries... Capricorn is one of those zodiac signs that are cold-hearted. Capricorn is very ruthless with how they handle things, with how they do things. And it's not good for your for your energy, Aries. Cause I've like they're so weird. Cause I talked to this one Aries and they went through so much trauma with Capricorn. They work, they now work as a defense attorney. As an defense attorney. That's how bad Capricorn broke Aries. They now are a defense attorney and they fight for people's rights. That's how bad it was. Like they literally went into the law system and they fight in so nobody can do what Capricorn did to them. And like metaphorically. They you Capricorn made Aries the whole defense attorney. <laughs> a whole whole career change. 
That's how bad it is. So Capricorn, why Aries likes you is because you're so successful. Aries feels like you're successful. Aries can be successful. Aries wants to be successful. So why don't you guys run a business together? Why don't you guys run a business together? Why don't you guys uh, do something together? Aries feels like they see a lot of potential in you, Capricorn. They love how you're very mellow and you're not craving attention, but you somehow, you know, are able to walk through life with, you know, confidence. They love how put together you are, Capricorn. And Aries feels like if you gave them a chance, you guys would be a powerhouse relationship. Powerhouse relationship. Unfortunately, Aries you know, not reality for you. Okay. No cap. Okay. You say boring. You say Capricorn's boring, but Capricorn crazy. Capricorn's crazy. Capricorns are boring when they are, but when Capricorn decides to be crazy and outgoing, Capricorns actually make for reality TV. Capricorns make for reality TV. As boring as Capricorns are, the reality TV stars are Capricorns. The Capricorn for reality TV, the boring ones, Capricorn, but they reality TV. They are fake. <laughs> Capricorns are boring and crazy. Oh, two things can be true at once. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, who's the Capricorn that's reality TV? Tiffany Pollard. Tiffany Pollard's a Capricorn. You see reality TV royalty. Tiffany Pollard is a Capricorn. Just crazy, crazy, entertaining. Everything that Capricorn does is so entertaining to me. So entertaining to me. Um. Okay, let me see. Ray J's a Capricorn too. Okay. Um. Okay, so I can do, not Natalie, none. No, but I like Tiffany Paula. I think that Capricorn, it's, it's very un interesting to find extroverted Capricorns. I like to find extroverted Capricorns because they're so rare. But they're really good. I love I love a good extroverted Capricorn because the majority of Capricorns are introverts. The majority of Capricorns are introverts. Like they don't really like all of that fame and stuff like that. If you embarrass Capricorn even a little bit, they will leave you. They will leave you immediately. If you embarrass Capricorn, they will leave you. Um, okay, I could do two questions about Aries and then let's move on to the next zodiac sign. Um Let's not talk about Aries. They're controlling. We have to talk about all the zodiac signs. <laughs> we have to talk about all of them. Um, what are some things? Oh, sorry. I need more water. What are some things as an Aries I can improve when it comes to relationships? Oh yeah, Aaliyah was a Capricorn. Aaliyah was so pretty. Aaliyah was a Capricorn. I like Capricorn's prettiness too. Like that Capricorn beauty is different. It's different. Now, sometimes Capricorns, they just look broken. They just look broken, you know, because the bad eyesight and stuff. But when Capricorn's not broken, they're actually pretty. Um, not sure I'll give it. Okay, so uh, Aries advice. Aries. Okay, so Aries, what you can do to be a better Aries in terms of love? Hey, I haven't seen you in forever. Hopefully you're able to be here. Um, Aries, what you want to do is you just want to make sure that you're calm in a lot of situations, Aries. A lot of times, Aries, you say things first and then you think about what you said later because you're so quick. You're so quick with responses, Aries. Sometimes you double down on things in a relationship that you shouldn't be doubling down on at all. And I want you to reassess who you are in relationships with Aries because sometimes you like to self-sabotage. You like to break up with people because you feel you need a change. You feel like it's ran its course. But sometimes, Aries, it doesn't run its course. You just move through life a little faster than the other zodiac signs do. And I think that you need to realize that you move at a different pace. You know, if you're walking down the street and you know how fast you be walking, Aries, your partner is not going to walk as fast as you are, but you guys are both going to make it across the street. You know, I think that you need to give the relationship a little bit more time before you decide it's over. And I think that you need to no, because Aries, you're the most energetic zodiac sign we have because you're a warrior zodiac sign. So you're going to have energy for war. That's what you have the energy for. <clears throat> and you just want to make sure that 
you're not wasting your energy or assuming that the person is not your type because they can't keep up with you. Nobody can keep up with you, Aries. That's that's what you are. You're the zodiac sign nobody can keep up with. Um Yeah. Yeah, Aries be ready to fight cuz Aries is a warrior. Aries always ready to fight cuz Aries wants to take care of the threat. Aries wants to take out a threat. Aries has been cursed with that warrior energy. So nobody's going to mess with Aries. That's why, Aries, you look the most intimidating. Aries, you are the most intimidating zodiac sign we have because you're the warrior zodiac sign. You naturally give off intimidating vibes. Um, Let me see. What would make Aries stay in a relationship? I'm annoyed. Okay, so <laughs> I'm not saying Aries is just going to leave you. But if you want Aries to stay in a relationship, you have to keep Aries on their toes. A lot of times Aries, they do the opposite of what you want them to do because Aries is annoying. So if you want Aries to stay, you need to make sure that... Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, you just want to make sure that, you know, if you want Aries to stay, be like, oh, all my exes left me. Okay, Aries gonna stay then. Aries gonna stay there. All your exes left you. I'm not one of them. <laughs> All your exes left you. I'm not one of them. If Aries is not cooking for you, just talk about how your ex cook for you. Talk about how your ex cook for you. Aries will five star meal. Five star meal. Five star meal. You know? Oh, Aries, my ex, my ex never gave me a massage. The way Aries would throw you on that floor, Aries would throw you on that floor like Hulk smash, like Hulk. Sm <laughs> the way Aries will pick you up and throw you on that floor like Hulk smash and give you the best massage of your life, of your life because your ex gave you a massage. <laughs> So you, you just gotta have Aries do the opposite of <laughs> you gotta have you have to have Aries do the opposite of yeah <laughs> yeah the competitiveness out of this world out of this world okay time to do the next zodiac sign and I'm glad that AI chose Aquarius next. Because we went through a lot of the zodiac signs. But first, I got to do my commercial break. Hi, my name is... <laughs> Hi, my name is Mari, and I do personal astrology readings. If you would like one, the link's in my bio for a reading. We got up on the phone together. I could do your birth chart for you. Or I could do a video just like this for you. The link's in my bio on my profile. Okay, so when it comes to air... When it comes to Aquarius... When it comes to Aquarius, this one is unfortunately the worst. This one is unfortunately the worst, Aquarius. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Because be nice to AI, okay? AI is trying, Aquarius. You have it the worst. You have it the worst, okay? Okay? Listen, listen. Because we're going to get to the zodiac sign that's put on this earth to break you. We're going to get on the zodiac sign that's put on this earth to break you, Aquarius. Aquarius... Do you know who's put on this earth to break you? The zodiac sign that's put on this earth to break you, Aquarius, is the same zodiac sign you're put on this earth to break yourself. Scorpio. Aquarius is put on this earth to break Scorpio's heart, and Scorpio is put on this earth to break Aquarius's heart. That's the only zodiac sign pairing that does that you saw me talk about all the other zodiac signs oh you break that one that one's obsessed with you oh you break that one that one's obsessed with you aquarius and scorpio you guys break each other and you're both obsessed with each other you guys break each other and you're both obsessed with each other that is the hardest it makes aquarius and scorpio the hardest relationship that we have it's the hardest relationship in Zodiac sign history. No relationship is harder than an Aquarius and Scorpio relationship. 
it's to the point where when Aquarius and Scorpio calls me for a reading and it's about each other, I don't even, I don't even feel like I do a good job sometimes. And I know I'll be doing a good job. I don't feel like I do a good job sometimes with Aquarius and Scorpio because of their love-hate relationship for each other. It's like if you guys don't love each other at the same pace, if you guys tip the balance of the love even a little bit, it's catastrophic. Okay, Scorpio feels like you don't love them, Aquarius. They blowing up. Aquarius, uh, Scorpio, Aquarius don't feel like you love them enough. It's blow. It's a big fight every time. Every time. I've seen Aquarius and Scorpio find each other and reunite. They already were married, already have kids. They left their marriages for each other. They left their marriages for each other on the spot. They already had spouses. They had children. They don't care about them. They wanted each other. And then they got married to each other. But now they don't know if they want to stay married. But they already broken up their homes for each other. They don't know if they want to stay married. But they're not going to get divorced. And now their spouses and their kids are in this weird situation. Because they don't know why their family broke up. Horrible, horrible. That relationship is so hard. So hard. Because it's not supposed to be that way. It's not supposed to be that way. Like when y'all call me about Aquarius and Scorpio, I'm, I sigh. I do this deep sigh before I get on the phone. Because I'm not trying to deal with that. I'm not trying to deal with that. It's crazy. Like Aquarius, so... Like I don't even recommend you get a Scorpio. And you know how I be recommending that you get a zodiac sign that loves you more aquarius you scorpio don't love you more than you love them scorpio i don't recommend aquarius like if y'all want to see how that feels like like i don't even want y'all to experience it like scorpio and aquarius ask people in the chat if they're a scorpio and aquarius relationship and ask them how they feel about it because they will describe exactly how it feels it won't make any sense to you but when you get in that relationship Thank you for validating my life. <laughs> the relationship's so hard. It gives me such a headache. This is one of the only relationships where like Aquarius and Scorpio, if they were to call me to do a reading, I might just give y'all a refund. Because I can't save you. I can't save you. <laughs> okay, I can't save you. You might get a full refund from me. Oh, I can't help you. Sorry. You might as well have called me a psychic. You might as well have asked for psychic, psychic advice. I'm not a psychic. <laughs> okay out of my element i'm sorry such a bad relationship but also such a good relation it, like it's like it's like dr it's like a drugs it's like addictive drugs you know <laughs> so yeah yeah that's it that's it i want to talk about y'all no more i don't want to talk about y'all no more um, but what I will do is I will ask you guys to ask two questions about Aquarius. Then let's do two questions about Scorpio and let's call it a night. Okay. Cause that Aquarius and Scorpio give me such a headache. Give me such a headache. Um, okay. Two questions about Aquarius and then let's go to Scorpio and let's do two questions about Scorpio. That was me and my daughter back in the day, but right now we love each other to death. Oh, I'm glad that you guys reunited. Scorpio and Aquarius relationships and siblings and family dynamics are always hard as well. So I'm glad that you guys reunited. A Scorpio and Aquarius, even family's tough. <sighs> um, let me see. What about what is the issue with Aquarius and Scorpio? It's the fact that Aquarius and Scorpio are put on this earth to break each other, but they're also obsessed with each other at the same time. If you don't understand what I mean, uh, watch the playback. I'm going to put this on YouTube right after this. Watch the playback and you'll understand why Aquarius and Scorpio being obsessed with each other is a flaw. It's a flaw. It's not supposed to be that way. Um, why can Aquarius say how they really feel? Oh, get some water. Get some water. Okay. Just one second. I'm glad. I'm glad that it matches up. Um, let me see. When it comes to Aquarius not being able to explain how they feel, it's simply because Aquarius isn't an emotional. 
it's beautifully toxic good way to good way to say it um aquarius isn't emotional so aquarius can't really express how they feel because they're only pulling from their brain you know aquarius went to the dictionary of what love is supposed to feel like and what emotions is supposed to feel like they pulled from the dictionary google search results and that is what aquarius is giving you as an explanation so it doesn't sound good because Aquarius like they not they not pulling from the heart they don't know what that they don't go there they don't go there Aquarius is the only zodiac sign that uses their brain first all the other zodiac signs use their heart Aquarius does not Aquarius feels like that's a weak muscle you know the weak part so they use the strong part which is their brain and so when Aquarius is talking to you they're using intellectual and factual knowledge but it isn't really emotional knowledge and that's the really annoying part because you'll want Aquarius to have that deep connection with you, but it can only go so far as the Google search results will allow it to. You know, if Aquarius went for that deep connection with you and the Google search results said not found, invalid, invalid search, <laughs> invalid search I got bad news for you. Okay, so does Aquarius because Google said, <laughs> okay, page not found, uh, area 611. So, <laughs> so that's why, unfortunately. Um, let me see. Let me see. So what if Aquarius is really emotional? If Aquarius is really emotional, that's actually a really good thing. It's actually a really good thing. Um, do not break that Aquarius, okay? Because the, if the Aquarius knows that they should not be using their heart and they should be using their brain only, that Aquarius will stop using their heart for emotions at all. If you got an emotional Aquarius, cherish that emotional Aquarius and talk them into always being emotional because that's a good thing. That's a good thing. I had this one person call me about Aquarius because... They were always emotional, but then they ended up breaking that Aquarius's heart because they cheated on the Aquarius and that Aquarius turned off their emotions and they never turned it back on. They never turned it back on. And I remember I kept calling that Aquarius to understand why they turned it off and how they can turn it back on. And they said that they don't know how. They said the moment they were hurt, they just don't know how. And that Aquarius never turned their emotions back. And the person who, you know, hurt Aquarius was so upset because they wanted their old Aquarius back. And I'm just like, that was a rare Aquarius. Aquarius don't use their emotions like that. Like, get good emotional Aquarius. That's good. That's good. Okay. I can do two questions about uh, Scorpio. I could do two questions about Scorpio and let's go to the next sign. <laughs> I could do two questions about Scorpio. Any qu Scorpio questions you have that are very like specific, I can answer them just so I can end the live. I know, I'm tired. Um, Let me see. <laughs> Why are Scorpios for the streets? Scorpios are not for the streets. Scorpios just have options. That's why whenever I be like, you're not the only person Scorpio talking to, all the Scorpios, that's not true. Yes, it is, Scorpio. Scorpio has a backup for a backup for a backup for a backup situation. Okay, so you ever, you remember the term back in the day where the grandparents was having side families down the street, where the grandparents was having side families down the street or down the block? That was Scorpio. That was Scorpio. Okay, Scorpio everywhere. You think you're going to get rid of Scorpio? Scorpios don't die. They multiply. Okay, Scorpio, the most populated zodiac sign in the United States. Because people can't stop having Scorpio children. Scorpio, the most populated zodiac sign out of all the zodiac signs. All of them. Um, So Scorpio definitely just has backups. Because Scorpio doesn't trust people, unfortunately. Scorpio's been hurt. You know that saying, I've been hurt. Scorpio is weak, Scorpio. Stop saying it. It's weak. It's weak. But Scorpio being hurt in third grade, that person hurt Scorpio's heart in third grade. They just never recovered. So they feel like they need to have backups because they don't trust people. So it wasn't because they don't love you. They just feel like you're going to hurt them eventually. So they might as well have that backup just in case. <clears throat> um, why do Scorpios go back to their ex? So Scorpios go off as seniority, unfortunately. Scorpios go off as seniority. So if you thought that you were going to be in Scorpio's life as something, you know, better than what you were to Scorpio. And you're shocked that Scorpio ended up with the person from 
five years ago. Like Scorpio goes off his seniority. That's why I always have to tell you that you think I'm making it up? Okay. Um, when Scorpio, like when they tell you that they're ready for a relationship, they normally go back to their ex or they go back to somebody that's been in Scorpio's life for a very long time. Scorpio goes off his seniority. Like a lot of people think that they can get to Scorpio's heart very early on when you really need to put in time. You have to put in time. Like if you've known Scorpio for like five plus years, then you, Scorpio's comfortable enough with you to where they're, they're complacent and how your relationship is. Like Scorpio will get in a relationship for convenience because they know that they won't get hurt in that relationship. They know what it is. They know you through and through. And it always brings Scorpio closer to you when they know that there's less secrets that you're hiding from them. They can be more and more themselves. And if they can trust you fully and completely, you'll, that'll be the only time you'll see the real Scorpio where everybody else is still seeing surface level Scorpio. But they'll definitely go back to their ex for convenience. And they definitely go with seniorities, like the seniorities of things. Scorpio, but you can't be disappearing, Scorpio. I know that you get hurt, but you cannot disappear and like come back like nothing's wrong, Scorpio. We were here to try to help you heal, but you want to do it by yourself? Okay, Scorpio, I don't understand how you're a water sign like Pisces and Cancer, but instead of Pisces and Cancer being emotional because it's healthy to cry, you repress it. Okay, Scorpio, that's why you're about to get a tumor, Scorpio. That's why you're about to get a tumor. Because what you're repressing your emotions for, you're a water zodiac sign. You're not an earth zodiac sign, Scorpio. I don't know what you're trying to be an earth. Although you are a Scorpio and you be in the earth, you're not an earth zodiac sign. Be a water zodiac sign, Scorpio. Okay, you, you stay trying to transition. You stay trying to transition. <laughs> you stay, you're not a fire sign either, Scorpio. Okay, you straight, you tr stay trying to transition to a different zodiac sign. Element, you're a water zodiac sign. Thank you, cry for me. Cry a little bit, a little bit, <laughs> a little bit more. Okay, you guys. <laughs> okay, you guys, I gotta go. It's been fun. It's been real. I'll see you guys tomorrow because I want to do another live stream. I want to do this either every day or every other day. And if you don't see me post any videos, I ran away from you guys because it became too much for me. So I ran away. But if I'm here tomorrow, it means that I, I did not run and I'm still going to post videos for you guys. But if I run away, you don't see me for, for, for a few days. This took a lot of my energy out. I need time to recover. <sighs> Okay, if you have questions, go to Google. Google got Google got the answer. I don't know why y'all don't just Google your questions. You don't need me to answer your specific question. There's 400 of y'all in here. There's 150 of y'all in here. There's 50 of y'all in here. You think I got time to answer 600 questions? <coughs> y'all better send a dollar each. Y'all better send a dollar each. Don't send me money. Don't send me money. But thank you for the gift. <coughs> okay, you better got the coins. You better got the coins. <laughs> But I got to go. Bye. Bye, uh, bye, Facebook. I hope that you guys have a very good day. If you want to see the video, it's going to be on my YouTube. I'll post it as soon as it finishes downloading. TikTok and Instagram are really shady because for some reason, after I finish the TikTok and Instagram video and I go to my live stream section to download the video for YouTube, I feel like they corrupt the file. Because the last two live streams I did, the file was corrupted and I couldn't get the live stream. If Instagram and TikTok corrupt my live stream one more time, we're going to have a problem. We have a problem. Um. Okay. Let me see. By TikTok, by Facebook, by YouTube, by Instagram. There's too many of y'all here. <laughs> Okay. Bye. I'm tired. Whew. Of course.